David, that's a, a, a difficult afternoon against the league leaders. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think when you shoot yourself in the foot twice, three times probably, um, against a good team, like I said, it's top of the league for a reason, then it's going to be a long afternoon. I thought the second half we showed much more intent with the ball, without the ball. We, just, we scored a, a good goal. We had more impetus, more more initiative, more work rate. But the game sort of sort of really done by then because of our own carelessness. And I'm not just referring to the first goal, all three goals. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a difficult afternoon. But you know, that's <laughs> we, we've got to learn. We've got to learn. We actually looked like okay on the ball, I thought, at times in that first half. It was just those individual errors. Yeah, look, we, the first goal particularly, um, that, that's, that's the way I want them to play. The, the disappointing thing is that the, the, the players react to the fans' frustrations. Just because we've conceded a, mis a goal by making a mistake doesn't mean that we should change. doesn't mean that then that becomes the wrong thing to do. We've then got to be better. You know, Man City conceded a goal, they don't change the way they play. I'm not saying we're Man City, so before I get loads of abuse or whatever, that's not what I'm saying. But we're playing our way, so make a mistake, well, just don't make another. What you can't do is compound that mistake by going, I'm going to kick it as far away from goal as possible, because that's that's a coward's way out really, and it's been influenced negatively by a, by a understandably, understandably frustrated crowd, and I get it. I, I understand both sides of the argument, so I get it. We've, we've got to be better. If we don't make the mistake, we don't get the frustration all in. So that's that's where we're at at the minute. We, there's going to be the odd mistake. I think you know, that's probably the first mistake or goal we've conceded from a, from like a, that kind of scenario. Well, if we concede one goal every 12 games doing that, it's one, it's one too many. That's it's not acceptable. But I can sort of go, well, we're going to get so much more benefit from playing that way. You know, we don't cause score five playing that way against Notts County. If we shell it against Notts County and just whack it up to them, they just beat it up. So the last sort of 10, 15 minutes, we were just whacking the ball forward in the hope, as opposed to playing our way. We scored a goal because we played our way down one side of the pitch, come across, Chad goes in, you know, shoots, tap, save, tapping. It's a, it's a deliberate way of playing. So we've got to be better and, and do more of them deliberate ways and more repeatable ways and be mistake free, certainly in our defensive third. So that's the challenge. That remains the challenge. You know, It's not going to change in eight weeks or whatever it is. It's going to take months. It's going to take you know three transfer windows to change it all around. It, it is. And that doesn't mean just personal. That means the time really involved. So I, I again I understand fans' frustrations. They're going, oh my god, we're twentieth in the league. I get it. I still stand by the comment that I made when I come in the door. That's you know, it's, it's harder to say after a defeat, obviously, because people will question it. But we've got enough in that dressing room, and the way we are playing, we, you know, we've had two clean sheets on the spin away from home. Well, that's suddenly all forgotten about because we've made a mistake. A young kid. A lad has just come into the football club, well, and, and I'm asking them to play that way. No, it's, it's on me, not them. The others, well, set up from a corner, set up wrong, defended it wrong, defended the second phase wrong, defended a, another free kick, which was a counter attack transition. Yeah, <coughs> we thought we'd resolve that a bit better, but we haven't. We've got to revisit that. But we've got to remember we're playing against the top of the league, who's budget is significant, <laughs> significantly more than ours and they're there for a reason. So we've got to put all that into a bit of perspective, it doesn't make it any easier. And that's, uh, that's the, the outcome of today. The, uh, Gav Hallohan scored a, well he, he got the, the goal that was disallowed, it looked tight from where we were sat. Yeah, it, it, certainly, um, it certainly looked on on the replay on the bench, we're not allowed to say that to the fourth official we can't mention screens and stuff but it certainly looked like it was onside and you know you're going 3-1 it could change the game we score you know straight after half time goals change games we, we know that listen the, uh, <laughs> I don't want to say anymore because I say 
the referee was rubbish. It's not the referee, the lines were going wrong, whatever. People say I've you know, brought the game into disrepute, so you, you just have to accept you know, an incorrect decision. It's, yeah. as, it's as simple as that. Uh, the three changes made at half time, were they enforced or was that purely based on that first half? Yeah, it played based on the first half. You know, we, the, the first half was poor in, in quite a few respects. Could have been more than, than, than the three changes. I thought the, the lads who come on helped, improved us. I thought we played, like I say, in a more deliberate way. We looked more cohesive and we looked a bit safer. Um, and that's not a, a, a slight on the lads that come off. Um, sometimes games work out like that. So, you know, there's, there's no point at, at half time hoping things get better. You have to do something about it. And that was the. You know, that's the that was the reason really. Yeah, and one of those players that came on, Charles Burnham, looked really bright, and, and, and his <coughs> shot led to the goal. Yeah, yeah. Look, I thought I thought Charles when he came on was good. I thought Jamie Andrews was very good. You know, so you just hope that they were um, <coughs> seen as possible positive changes. It, it certainly helped. Greeny was good. You know, and and they gave us a bit more impetus, like I say, both on and off the ball. And I guess the fans will be a bit more pleased with that second half with the fight that they were showing from the players <coughs> yeah look, I, I said to them at half time I said look there's, there's, there's two things one you must play football one you must run around and you've come off both of them things well you do that against any team in this league never mind the league leaders you're going to have a tough afternoon and that you know second half they ran around more and they played more football well that's why we win the half 1-0 uh, it's, it's not it's not rocket science in that sense. They're they're the non-negotiables. I've, I've said that to the players. Again, I understand the fans' frustration. I get it because it does look you know a bit uncoordinated a bit. But then when you get it right, which we have done more away from home, you know, than at home in recent recent matches, we, we've looked at a good team in the second half. We looked at a team that was fine. The problem is the first half decides the game.